Starlight Studios. The Biscuit Brothers presents The Thunderstorm. It was a very cloudy day in the village, and even though it was daytime, the dark clouds made the sky look like it was almost nighttime. The wind was very windy also, blowing things this way and that. Even some of the trees and bushes were moving around from the wind blowing so hard. I say, George, it does seem like a rather miserable day outside, don't you think? I would say that a rather strong thunderstorm is heading our way. The bakery was filled with the usual crowd in the afternoon. Mr. Maloney was there, Samson and Nigel had their usual sport, and a few of the other villagers were there as well. Just then, Mrs. Nelson walked in. Ooh, my goodness, this wind is really something. Mrs. Nelson had to hold on to her umbrella as she came to the door, and a cold chill swept through the entire bakery as she pushed the door closed against a strong wind. Why, good afternoon, Mrs. Nelson. I'm glad to see you made it in okay with all of the weather going on out there. George thinks that there might be a strong thunderstorm coming. Well, George is right. I suspected the storm would be here any... No sooner had she started to speak when a loud thunderclap shook the entire village, startling them all. Oh my goodness, ho! Oh. Aha! It seems as though I was right. The storm was coming and now it is here. The storm raged on outside with very loud claps of thunder and bright flashes of lightning. I think this is the worst storm I've seen in quite some time. I am glad that we all made it safely to the bakery. Just then, everything went dark at the bakery. The thunderstorm has knocked the power out. Everyone looked around and everyone else. All anyone could see was everyone's eyes. Well, this is just splendid. Now how are we supposed to make biscuits? I can't even see my own hands. Well, maybe we can light some candles to see with until the power comes back on. So Henry and George lit candles all over the bakery, setting one at each table, one at the counter, and a few in the kitchen. All right, that should do it. Now we can see better. We can see better, but how will we bake without any power? The two brothers thought and thought about how they could bake with no power. Then suddenly, an idea dawned on them. George, do you remember in the back corner that we built the brick oven into the wall? Of course, we can use the brick oven to do all of the baking. The brothers transferred everything over to the brick oven and started to bake. But there was one problem. They had no fire to start the oven with. Hmm. I guess we will have to get some firewood from somewhere to get this fire going. I suppose you're right, but where on earth are we going to find some firewood in here? Henry was right. There was indeed not a single piece of firewood in the entire bakery. If they wanted to make a fire in the brick oven, they would have to find something other than firewood to burn in it. Hey, I know. We can use one of the candles and put it into the oven to start the fire. All we need is something that will burn. <clears throat> uh, how about my socks? George, we can't make biscuits with old socks. Do you want to eat biscuits that taste like feet and smell like old socks? The idea did seem quite terrible to George once he thought a bit more about it. Now it was Henry's turn to propose a plan. Hmm. I say, George, look at all of those empty boxes in the corner. Why, I'll bet they would make a great thing to put in the fire and heat up the oven with. Henry and George placed the candle into the oven, and then they placed the old boxes on top of the candle. Before long, the brick oven was all fired up and ready to bake. Henry, we've done it! Now to put it to the test, let's bake some fresh biscuits in this brick oven. The brothers baked the first ever batch of biscuits in the brick oven, and when it was time for them to come out, everyone in the bakery was talking about how wonderful they smelled. I say, boys, it smells like you have found a way to make your famous biscuits even better. Hi, everyone. The thunderstorm has knocked out the power, but we still found a way to make some new biscuits using a different method. Now, who will be the first to have one? Well, it might as well be me. I'm starving. Mrs. Nelson took a bite and couldn't believe that the biscuits tasted even better now than before. My goodness, boys. You've outdone yourselves again. These are simply delicious. Before long, everyone in the shop was enjoying these new brick fire oven biscuits. 
The brothers were able to find a way to use what they had around them to solve their problems. And now the village has a brand new treat to enjoy. You know, Henry, I suppose it was a good thing that the power went out. You are so right, George. If the storm had knocked off the power, we would not have this new tasty treat on the menu. From then on, the brick oven fire biscuits were a village favorite. And every time a thunderstorm came by, everyone came rushing to the bakery to see what creative idea that the Biscuit Brothers would come up with next. The end. Hello friends! Thanks so much for watching! Make sure to click the subscribe button as well as the alert notification bell so you can always be aware of our latest adventures, just like these. See you soon!